Radio 910 Gary Hass with Gary and Gary Criswell with the state championship head coach David Bedwell, Elsie Bird Skyhawks win it over Ocean Lakes 14 to 10. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? State champion. Yeah, yeah, you know, you never want to talk about it, but we can talk about it now. And it's right. it's in the books and uh, very exciting and just man, I am overwhelmed right now. Let's talk about a couple things to do with the game. First of all, they hit a huge play. First play from scrimmage, go up 7 nothing. But not only did your team not panic, but you responded with a grinding, classic bird-style seven-minute drive to even the game, and it was all from there. Yeah, you know, that was that was big for us because, you know, we could have folded our tent real early and it came first play, you know, but our kids came out and responded offensively and uh, grounded out. And, you know, we were able to throw the ball and run the ball on that drive and, and, and eat up time, and I just thought it was you know, just a great response. And then we were able to kind of settle in and kind of still do, do what we do. It was 14-10 at the half, and in the second half, both defenses really stepped up. Their defense adjusted and shut you guys down, but your defense refused to let them get in the end. Yeah, you know, again, I don't know how great a job I did as, you know, as a play caller tonight. I don't think I put us in some good situations or I put our defense in some good situations. I, I made a couple mistakes, and... Luckily enough, our, our, our kids were able to respond. You know, Brandon Walker with the big fourth down stop, Jay Anderson with some timely sacks. And, you know, uh, we kind of even had them on their heels a little bit. They were jumping off sides and not lining up right. So I think that had to do with us a little bit too, not, you know, not just them doing, doing something wrong. I know Gary's got some questions, but I want to ask you real quick. Just talk about the moments, how sweet it was that after the trophy presentation, being over there with all the Bird fans and, and, and just the, the glorious feeling of Bird's first football state championship. You know, uh, um, a couple guys who have won them before, Bill Bowles and you know, Marshall Parker, and you know, I talked to a couple of assistants at Thomas Dale, and, and, they, and they tell you how sweet it is. And, you know, you just you want to feel that so bad. And, you know, you're going through the game and every little emotion is going through your head. And then you get out there in front of all those people and you get that trophy and you really don't even know how to act. You know, you just want to put it up there and everybody's screaming and hollering. And, uh, again, just very humbling, very overwhelming. And uh, it feels a whole – I feel a whole lot better in 2012 than I did in 1999 when we didn't get it done. So it's, it's fun. And uh, I've, I've had both emotional roller coasters, and I like this one a whole lot better. Yeah, but you so. Coach, you talk about the uh, different things that happen in state championship games, and I found out that in winning championship games in Central Region, a lot of times what happens is guys stuff, do stuff beyond what they did. One of, your, one of those guys is Terrence Earl. A couple of times he, he made something out of another. A couple of his longest ones came called back. They didn't seem to have anything accounted for him as far as the strength is concerned. He kept plays alive. I think about a second down, uh, a second quarter drive, you got one point on fourth down, and you flipped the ball out, and got the ball out of there, and Paul almost made the first down, but it was, it was like an 18-yard difference in where he'd have been sacked and where the game was. Talk about the guys like that, worship, back-to-back punts on 48 and 49 yards. Talk about just the guys that, that did stuff beyond what you're Yeah, you know, Terrence Irvin, um, you know, we didn't want him to run the ball during the year. We didn't have another kid to throw like him, so we protected him as much as we can, but, you know, tonight... You know, like, like like we told him, you know, we don't want to have any bullets in the gun at the end of the day, so let's go ahead and you know, do it. So Terrence, you know, he had the green light today if he needed to, and great job by him. You know, Rashid Worsham's on the sideline in my ear, Coach, I want the ball, I want the ball, I want the ball on offense. I say, hey, just be patient, you'll make a play, and if you don't, you'll make a play somewhere else. And, you know, him punting the ball and then playing some defense there at the end on that last drive really helped us. And, you know, you want to get him the ball, but at the same time, you got to kind of do what you do, and Make sure that you handle all the things that you need to handle. And I thought he did a great job. He's played well all year long for some different spots. And you talked about it in the press conference, but this, this team, while well, Paul Robertson has been the face of the program with 2,900-plus yards, you've had a lot of heroes at different times. Yeah, you know, going back, it's hard to, you know, it's, it's hard to even say who they are to, for each game, but it's always been a different guy. And that's the thing, that, and, and, that, and that's why it's so hard to remember because you don't, <laughs> you don't remember who it was. But, you know, a lot of guys made a lot of plays throughout the year, and, um, you know, just happy that they did, and we needed every single one of them to get to where we were. This was the last thing the Bird football program had to do to add to its resume, and, and, and now it's, it's got to mean a lot to you to have this group bring that to Bird High School. It does. You know, I, I keep talking about it. It was the one thing in our program that we didn't have. It's the one thing that was missing, and we finally got it done, and we finally are going to have that missing piece, and I really think you can start talking about this Bird football program as one of the – you know, best in the central region. I mean, you know, overall, I think that we finally got that 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 thing we were missing, and 
you know, that's exciting to us because that's what we want to be. We want to be a complete program, and this kind of brings it full circle for us. One last thing that we're really proud of you, Lou, not only did you bring it home to the century, you did it, you kept your composure when things went bad on the first play, and then things kind of got a little really sketchy at the end of the game, and your kids, you know, you only got one personal foul, they got five. Right. And, uh, again, that's – you really had it all. You had a group that could play emotionally, but they could control themselves, and they and, and they, they showed a lot of poise down the stretch. They did. Uh, you know, there hadn't been too many bird teams who were afraid to also win the fight and also the game. But right. I, I thought tonight they did a good job of pulling themselves back. You know, none of our kids are ever going to shy away from a scuffle, and that's not something you want to be proud of. But that's the kind of kids they are, and that's you know, and that's what they do. And uh, you know, so, so so it was good to see that happen when they when they pulled away. Rick Fortune pulled me aside and said, "I guess we're going to have to do all your games now." Yeah, we got we got to work out a deal. We can get uh, <laughs> Chuck Thomas come up with some big money for you guys there you or go. something. So awesome. we just like making Gary look bad when he says people don't double team wide receivers. <laughs> this uh, awesome. flies with football anymore. All seriousness, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Well deserved, well earned state champions in Division Six. Thank Sounds you. Sounds great. Thank you very much. That's David Thanks. Bedwell, the Thanks victorious coach. Undefeated. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>